This is a quick experiment to go over some of the friction reducing ideas I've had on the, the arbors for the clock. My first clock design used stainless steel tubing. This is the most common type that I could find at any place that sells uh, KNS metals. It's eighth inch stainless steel tubing and I would cut them into small segments. Um, it turned out to be a lot of work. Those little bushings would be pushed into the ends of, of the gears or any of the, uh, or the frame of the clock. And so then ultimately you end up with the gear that will spin uh, fairly low friction. Uh, it turned out to be an awful lot of work. So here's an experiment that I did, which was to just print some test pieces. The first one is with the stainless steel bushings. The second piece, which is nearly identical, except it doesn't have stainless steel bushings, it just has a small diameter hole. Is that going to be lower friction? Or will it be slightly higher? Or will the friction be the same? I wasn't quite sure, so I thought I'd do a test. And then as a comparison, what if it was just a larger diameter for a more common 1 8 or 3 millimeter size? So here's the experiment. Here's the first test, starting with the, the test piece using the stainless steel bushing. Give it a spin. I got, got 25 seconds out of that one. Let's repeat the test using the next piece that just has a printed hole. Uh, these holes are slightly oversized. It's 1 16th inch or 0.062 uh, inch music wire. And the holes are printed 0.08. So there's a little bit of margin the hole, because the holes often close up a little bit when they're printed. Uh, sometimes they need to be drilled out just to clean up any burrs that happen to show up. So let's give this a test. That also span, spun for pretty much exactly 25 seconds. So not a whole lot of difference between a simple printed hole for the arbor or the much more complicated uh, stainless steel bushing. So let's repeat the test with the 1 8 inch hole. Uh, this is a much larger hole. I'm expecting since there's more surface area that there, the friction will be increased by quite a bit. Uh, using 1 8 inch uh, music wire or stainless steel rod. We'll give it a, a good spin at the beginning. I got 18 seconds, so it's about three quarters the amount of the spin time, uh, assuming that that corresponds to maybe 30 or 40 percent additional friction, uh, versus both of the other two options with the stainless steel bushings or the, the simple the, um, small diameter hole, both getting around 25 seconds. So. All of my latest clocks are just using a simple 
1 16th inch hole printed in the part running on 1 16th inch music wire. <laughs>